I think the education debate is the great tragedy of the last five years. Um, and uh, I think the problem, there are a few problems with it. One of them was the Gonski report was, was a real breakthrough, first really big independent review. Unfortunately, I'd say maybe 5% of the population actually understood what Gonski was about. Um, and that's, that's a tragedy because it's been able, made it much easier for Christopher and the Coalition to knock it off. Now, he's saying that he's keeping the funding for four, four years, but not for the six years of Gonski. Um, and I think one of the other things that's sort of very disingenuous is um, the Coalition says, oh, well, just throwing more money at education hasn't worked in the past. Well, that, that was under the Coalition. That was under their, under their funding model. We still haven't actually had a really decent policy debate of the sort we were talking about before about what we actually need to do here. And I suspect that what's happening, if you look at what's happening with uh, the education funding agreements, health funding agreements with the states, partnership agreements with the states, uh, we know that the coalition wants to rewrite the rules of the federation. And you've got to presume that there's going to be a, a shift in responsibilities here. And I think falling through the cracks of that is, is addressing these sorts of issues about how the education system does work to produce jobs, does work to produce yeah. social disadvantage. Uh, firstly, I don't think Laura's right, actually, about a lot of the things that she said. Uh, yes, I am. Spending on education... <laughs> spending on education is rising every year, 8%, 8%, 8%, 8% and 6% over the next four years. And what happens after that? Our focus is on uh, teacher quality, on parental engagement, on principal autonomy and on the curriculum. Now, you can throw as much money as you like at the education system. The facts are that we spent 40% more on education in the last 10 years by state Labor governments mostly, not the coalition federal government. We certainly gave them the money. They were in charge of how it was spent. And we didn't get the outcomes that we needed. Now, we're going to keep spending a lot of money, $64 billion on schools. But we don't uh, know how you're going to get the outcomes. And we are going to get outcomes through f focusing on the things that matter. A good curriculum, good pedagogy from teachers who have been practically trained at university, engaging parents more in their children's education and making sure that, as the research shows, the more autonomy in a school, the more that principals and their leadership teams make decisions, the better outcomes for students. Gonna, and that's where we're going to focus.